Hello everyone, welcome to today's lecture. Today's is the last lecture for chapter 8. So today we will be studying about the important stages in agricultural development on page number 96. Okay, the stages to improve food production. There are different uh, stages, uh, developmental measures which are taken. First is green revolution which is for development of improvement of crops. White revolution is for development of milk and milk products and blue revolution is for aquatic organisms. Now we will see them in detail. Page number 96 green revolution. Problems of population explosion were started to appear at the beginning of 20th century. Almost all the countries especially underdeveloped and developing countries had been badly affected by the effects of poor quality and quantity of food. Various methods applied for harvesting maximum yield from minimum land are collectively called as green revolution. So less amount of land but more amount of yield. This is possible due to blue sorry green revolution. So they have given towards the side pictures of scientists okay Dr. Norman Borlaug and Dr. M. S. Swaminathan have valuable contribution in Green Revolution. Page number 97, there are various research institutes which are performing research in, uh, blue, in Green Revolution <coughs> field. Example, Indian Agricultural Research Institute, New Delhi, National Citrus Research Institute, Nagpur and Allied Branches. Indian Institute of Sciences, National Pomegranate Research Institute, Sulapur. Okay, so these are the different institutes which are engaged in development of new varieties. Next is about white revolution. Various parts of India were rich in milk and milk products. However, those products were not sufficient to meet the needs of far-flung regions. Dr. Vergis Kurian proved through the cooperative movement and use of biotechnology that dairy cannot be allied but it would be a mainstream business. He put the co cooperative dairy movement of Anand, okay, Gujarat at all time high status, okay. So it has become, you know about Amul, okay, it is uh, this, that is Anand Milk Union Limited, it is. So next paragraph is about the milk which we get from hybrid varieties of cows and country varieties of cows, the desi cows, okay. While achieving the self-sufficiency in dairy business, various experiments were performed for quality control, newer dairy products and their preservation. Now there is a question, why people from all over the world are again preferring the local wild varieties okay now the problem is uh, the milk is rich in a particular type of protein okay the rich source of beta casein beta casein is a protein which is healthier than a1 beta casein okay so a2 beta casein is healthier than a1 beta casein and this a2 beta casein is found in country uh, that is desi cows that is local varieties local wild varieties not in those hybrid varieties so people have started uh, giving importance to the milk which we get from local varieties nowadays instead of the hybrid varieties next is about blue revolution production of various useful aquatic organisms with the help of water is called as blue revolution okay so that is mainly growth growing culturing of fishes okay culturing of oysters etc however people are not only thinking of cultivating the fishes and shrimps but other aquatic plants and animals too government of india has vowed to increase the production by encouraging the people for pisciculture by launching the program Neil Kranti Mission 2016, 50% to 100% subsidies are offered in this case. You may mark Neil Kranti Mission, okay, 
it is under blue revolution next topic is about fertilizers two types of fertilizers are used in agriculture one of those is organic manure and other is chemical fertilizers water holding capacity of soil improves with soil conservation due to use of manures so bio fertilizers not necessarily bio fertilizers organic fertilizers is preferred nowadays over chemical fertilizers upper layer of the soil essential in agriculture is formed due to humus formation various essential elements like nitrogen phosphorus potassium can be available to crops due to earthworms and fungi in soilless farming that is hydroponics you may underline it is an objective question what is soilless farming called as it is hydro hydroponics liquid chemical fertilizers are used okay so in these cases the plants are grown with limited in limited amount of water okay there is no need of soil however there are more harmful effects of liberal use of chemical fertilizers so there is uh, more <coughs> use of uh, organic manure and bio fertilizer nowadays next is about insecticides though the natural immunity of plants can prevent the infections use of insecticides is not under our control still insecticides are used have to be used even if the plants are herbicide tolerant disease resistant varieties okay irrespective of natural friends of farmers like frogs and insectivorous birds pesticides are used on large scale for increase in yield pesticides are in fact a type of poison this poison enters the food web through water and food and its biomagnification occurs now what do you mean by biomagnification it is the transfer of that particular poisonous chemical from one level to another level last year you had studied about levels okay first trophic level second trophic level so the first trophic level is the plants then uh, are the producers then the primary consumers then the secondary consumers so the particular uh, poisonous chemical it is transferred from one level to another level and that is called as biomagnification various pesticides like ddt malathion chloropyrifos etc have been proved to be dangerous next is about organic farming this topic also is familiar to you nowadays organic farming and organic products have become buzzwords organic products are being available and demand for them is ever increasing chemical fertilizers and pesticides have been used on large scale these poisonous chemicals reach the human body through food and water and their adverse harmful effects on human and environment became apparent so instead of that nowadays everything organic is used okay so we will get a better variety better quality which is not affecting our lives next is apiculture it is uh, cultivation collecting the honey okay by growing bees worst method of harvesting collecting the honey from these hives is driving away the bees by smoking the hive with burning torch and then cutting the hive into pieces this method causes the destruction of hive and large scale death of bees however it is easy to collect the honey without destroying the hive and bees if artificial bee boxes are used next topic is about cultivation of medicinal plants there is uh, an example given towards the right okay and some examples in the paragraph this is a very important objective question india has been gifted with a great biodiversity indian citizens have established the humble and strong relation with the nature so example adathoda vasika it is adulsa and melia azadirecta that is neem <clears throat> and adulsa vasicin present in the leaves that is the active ingredient which is present in the leaves which is used for treatment of cough you may see towards the right you might have uh, 
used this cough syrup during earlier days medicinal plants were collected from the forest however due to depletion in forest area medicinal plants are becoming rare hence medicinal plants are being cultivated nowadays next is about fruit processing you are familiar with chocolate milkshakes and other uh, processed foods nowadays we are daily using various products prepared from fruits all are consuming the products like chocolates juices jams and jellies all these products can be produced by processing on fruits okay so what are the different methods which are used techniques which are used for storage cold storage drying salting airtight packing preparing murabba or evaporating okay this could be a two mark question so we have finished with chapter 8 you may go through the textbook if you are having any doubt you may ask thank you